drawing the flat earth map with the triangulation method that I talked about a few months ago, if you remember, because I found out that I was triangulating a fake position of the sun. So triangulating the sun from three different positions is like triangulating three suns at the same time and that will never ever give you a precise number. So that is why I stopped plotting the map and right now I'm just focusing on how to locate the real position of the sun. When the sun is directly overhead, the refraction is near zero, but you still can't say where the sun actually is. As the sun travels towards the west, the atmosphere creates an image of it for every eye. So anyone who looks at the sun from the same angle as you, but from a different city, will see the apparent sun in a different position. But no one can see the sun in its real position. So if you try to triangulate the sun, you will never get the exact distance. This is like trying to triangulate a rainbow. see the apparent sun above the horizon line, that is just a reflection of the real sun which is already set. But when we added the atmosphere to the globe model, it did the same thing that it did on the flat earth model. The apparent sun goes down first, and the real sun follows it. That is contrary to the way refraction is normally presented. So the atmosphere is something that we can't ignore. It's like looking at the sun with your glasses on. The atmosphere is like a lens with no cover. We are like fish in the sea, you know. So the atmosphere can change the whole view of the sun. Now, in order to prove this, we had to add the atmosphere to Steve's model. But the question was, how? It was not an easy thing to do. And by coincidence, Steve found out that his program is capable to model the atmosphere exactly how it is. So he took the data from the internet and built all the layers of the atmosphere and suddenly the magic happened and everything started to make perfect sense. And when I say everything, I mean everything. The sun started to rise and set and it started to match reality more than the globe model does. 